Good evening and welcome back to a brand new video. So if you haven't guessed by today's title, we are going to be doing our evening routine. This is an evening routine with two babies instead of three. I mean, I say three babies, but obviously my oldest has turned, so she's not exactly a baby, but she'll always be my baby. I thought we could do our evening routine. I'll show you kind of what we do. Yeah, um, and how we kind of shut down for the evening. So James has gone off to work. It is currently Friday evening. So it's just me doing the bedtime tonight. So they are currently having their tea. They're both sat having their tea. They've got fish fingers, chips and peas tonight for tea. So it's literally five to six. Tea time is a little bit later tonight just because I don't know about anybody else, but I kind of get in the rut of what can I do them for tea, especially with Lennox being dairy free and stuff so there's a lot of things that he can't eat that i have in the house but luckily the fish fingers and chips he could both have because none of them contain any milk or milk proteins or lactose or anything like that so yeah that's what they've had for tea tonight so it's currently five to six and they are i think lennox is pretty much done he's kind of just messing with it now nelly's still going and then we will be slowly winding down for bedtime so i thought i could show you what our evening looks like now that tea time is finished it is literally the dreaded cleanup in actual fact they haven't actually done too bad with the mess but it's time to get them cleaned all tidied up from tea so whilst the kids are playing a lot of people won't agree with this they are watching bluey just before we get in the bath but whilst they are doing that and letting their tea go down i'm gonna make bottles ready for bed and i will take them up with me when i go bath the kids so then once i bath the kids they then go straight to bed so then it's time to make the bottles and take the bottles upstairs to their beds i pop nelly's in ready for her after she's had a bath and then the same for lennox and then i've just got our little storybook that we read at night time ready in my spot then i just get their nappies together and their pajamas all ready for bath time so that i don't have to scramble around trying to get pajamas when they're on the loose because it becomes absolutely chaotic Then it is time to run the bath and get it all ready and set up for them. I have to do this with Nelly downstairs because she doesn't like loud noises and she hates the sound of the bath running. Now that they're all bathed, it's time to get their room ready for night time. So just closing the curtains, both the kids are led down and are having their bottles and then it's time to sit and read them a story. They love this part of bedtime, we try and read to them every single night because they really enjoy looking at the pictures and just listening to either me or James reading to them. I honestly used to love bath time and it's going to sound horrible but I actually dread it when it comes to bath time at the moment. Nelly, for whatever reason, she used to love bath time she used to get really really excited about it and she would enjoy her bath she'd get dressed afterwards like play because they have a couple of toys up in their bedroom but she just screams and screams and screams and i dread to think what my neighbors think because she literally just goes off on one so i literally dread bath time but they are now settled they are now in bed story has been read so now it's time for the cleanup of all the mess so i mean it's not too bad today but i'll show you we've actually had a little bit of a move around in here as well which i don't think i showed you in my last vlog but the sofa is now under the window coffee table is now over there that big sofa is still there little basket for the blankets is there and tv is now here but this is obviously the mess in here which actually isn't too bad and then there is just obviously the little bits down here. So we're going to get this tidied up. And then the next job is to wash up, sort bottles, put away. And then it will be time for my tea time. The 
cleanup honestly doesn't take long at all everything's tidy put back ice cream carts put together this will be destroyed again in the morning so sometimes i think it's pointless everything's tidied away in here we are going to get rid of this none of the kids play with it and then we'll have more room um but yeah i've just got to grab that cup because now it's time to wash up so I do have the baby monitor here so that I can see and hear the kids. Obviously Lennox is now going to start crying. But let's tackle the aftermath of tea. now that all the washing up is done and the downstairs is tidy i am going to put the tv on i don't know what it is but i've got to have some form of background noise i can't just sit in silence so i'm going to pop the tv on and see what's on lennox is being a little monster so i'm going to wait to cook my tea he is opening the curtains right now so i'm going to wait for him to settle down just a little bit more before i cook my tea because i would like to just eat my tea in peace but We've still got Bluey on. Bluey is still on the TV, so that's going to go now. We're going to say goodbye to that. And we're going to see what I can just put on as background noise for a little bit. I'm going to pop on The Simpsons, I think, just as a little bit of background noise. I think the wire's fallen out of the skybox. Two seconds. So just popped The Simpsons on. It's currently on an advert as background noise. And I am actually just going to sit and read my book for a little bit until Lennox has settled down which I absolutely love James Patterson books I've now got a library card instead of spending money on books because I was literally spending a fortune on books and I've absolutely loved James Patterson for like years I've got so many of his books that I've already bought but I just thought we'll just get a library a library card because it works out cheaper my library has an area for the kids to play and read books and colour so it gets them out of the house as well so yeah, I'm probably just going to sit and read my book for a little bit. And then once I know Lennox has fully settled down, I'm going to go cook my tea and James is just going to warm his up later. Nellie is already conked. She is gone. She hasn't napped all day, so I knew she would be the first one to sleep. But Lennox is prattling around, so I'm probably going to be up and down for a little bit. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to read my book, which I try and read like for like half an hour to an hour a day. And that's mostly in the evening because I just don't get time in the daytime to read unless they both nap at the same time which is very very rare i'm rambling now i'm going to read a bit of my book and then it'll be time to sort my tea and then after my tea i will probably go jump in the shower get ready for bed and that will probably conclude my evening routine that's what my evening routine looks like most days except during the week you know like we're in the week we're on a friday from monday to friday we would eat our tea with the kids but because james works I would normally wait for him to come in, but I haven't really eaten all day today, so I will be eating without him tonight, which is fine. And yeah, I will probably see you once I've read a bit of my book and ready to cook tea. Lennox has finally settled, so I am going to put my tea on. I am literally just having some chicken wraps. I'm so hungry, so we're going to get cooking. So these are my wraps. I've just spoken to James and he is literally just finishing work now. So his will still be nice and warm for when he gets in. But I am going to sit and eat my tea and then I'm going to go jump in the shower and then it will be time to go to bed. So I do hope you have enjoyed our evening routine. It isn't always as chilled. It is sometimes a lot more hectic. But tonight the kids have played ball with getting ready for bed and stuff obviously Nelly did have her mouth down at bath time but that was fine but normally we'd share the workload if James was home during the week but the kids have played ball so I'm gonna eat my tea in peace if you did enjoy today's video then please smash the thumbs up and also click the subscribe button down below and I'll see you in a brand new video very very soon bye guys